Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to this channel, hi, my name is Moba and I'm here to chit chat with you. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. So I wasn't going to record this video, but then I thought, hmm, might as well because I haven't really recorded a video that I'm going to title last video of 2022. So here goes. This is going to be a get ready with me. I am rushing because <laughs> I am running out of time. I am running out of time, you guys. But anyway. I already started with my eyebrows. I just went in with some wax. I use the same molding wax that I use for my hair on my eyebrows. I've already styled my hair. Um, if anything, I can do a tutorial on this um, hairstyle that I've done later on. And then I'm also wearing a ponytail that I made. Yes, I did. And yeah, okay. So I am starting with my face and I did say in my TikTok video <laughs> that I am going to go in with my Color Mine Lotion um because i'm gonna be outside for a while i'm gonna be outside for a while and it gets hot and everything and for some of us who have like really oily skin color mine lotion acts like a mattifying um substance some people find it like like it's not a good thing to use for your skin blah blah, blah but it's color mine lotion it's color mine lotion it helps with chicken pox and scarring so I don't think there's anything wrong with using this. I mean, if you're trusting to put foundation in your face, what is foundation really? <laughs> you know what I mean? But anyways, okay, uh, I'm not going to get into that. I was just letting you guys know, like some people have issues with using color and lotion on their face, but I don't. Mm, I think that's enough. I don't want to use too much, okay? So while that is on my face and it's drying, I'm just going to go in with my foundation. So I'm mixing my Candid by Revlon. I really don't like this foundation. I've said this a couple of times, but then I found a way to use it, which I think has helped me just like it a little bit more. So what I do is I mix these two. So you see, because the, the color is a little, oh, battery. Okay. So I mix these two to make a shade that I actually like. So I'm gonna go in with the foundation now. That much. I'm not sure if I use too much, but hopefully that is okay. And then just a, oh! yeah, just a drop of the darker concealer. You see how it looks? Yeah. And then I'm just gonna mix it all up together. Like that. Do you see? It makes a shade that's, um, sort of close to my skin tone hope you guys can see but yeah now i'm just gonna spread that all over my face you guys can you believe we've reached the end of this year i cannot believe it i cannot believe that we have reached the end of this year i am in disbelief honestly just gonna go in with my sponge so I'm just still dabbing the product into my face and I actually don't mind if the sponge lifts some of the product because I don't want to have too much product on my face anyways hey okay so foundation is done i'm gonna go in with my concealer do i want to put on a lot of concealer today or not i'm going in with my maybelline fit me concealer i love concealer like i really really love concealer and i don't even think i use it um for the purpose that it should be oh uh used like i really just use it because i love how it just brightens up my face and to this day, I don't know if concealer is really meant to brighten the face or to just conceal. I mean, it is called concealer. Okay, <laughs> too much blubbering. Is that even a word? Blubbering, blubber. Okay. okay. Concealer is on the face. 
Was I supposed to add setting spray before or after? Let's try something new today. Okay, now blending in the concealer. I really just love that. I really, really just love that brightening of the under eye. Do you see? is that okay sis this looks nice I like it okay to set my under eye and everything I'm just gonna use my uh, fit me powder because it cracked so now it's like a loose powder Ooh, it's all over Okay, so I'm just gonna take some and just dab. Nice. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to that later. At this point in time, I wanna go in with my contour. And then with the excess, I just go in like that and like that. And that's it. Okay, what else? What else? What else? Eyes. I completely forgot about the eyes. Okay, so I'm just going to go in with some concealer. I already have some concealer on my eyelids, but I'm just going to add a little bit more. Like that. Like that. Brush that up with a tiny brush. So after that, I'm going to now set my eyelids. I'm just going to use, um, what am I going to use? I'm going to set them with my contouring powder. So I will use the lighter one. I just love the fact that it already looks like eyeshadow. Do you see? And then I'm going to go in with the darker one and I'll put this in my outer corners like that and into my crease. Okay, then I'm gonna go in. Oh, my eyeshadow, where is it? Okay, give me a second. It came back. Move the camera, I think I did. Anyways, okay, so I'm going to go in with hmm, I think a light brown. Can you guys even see? Yo, there we go with this. I really, really love it. It's quite simple. It's 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 nice. It's nice. And then I'm just kind of like brushing the dark thing, dark eyeshadow into the lighter eyeshadow. Like that. Just to create a nice blend. Nice blend. Okay, so I'm using liquid liner. Wet and Wild H2O proof. Liquid eyeliner. Cha -cha -da -da -da. Okay, yeah. So this is what I'm going in with. So, if you have eyes like me, the best thing to do is to look straight ahead when you're making the wing so that it just comes directly down here. Do you see? So 
so just make your little mark like that and on the side now we can focus on making the liner on top See what I did? I just literally connected the thing that I drew up with the liner at the top. Yeah, I think I'm satisfied with the liner on top. So with my bottom liner, what I do is I go in with the old um, liquid liner it's kind of like almost dry ish so what i do is i go in with this i might need a mirror for this one so i then go in and i just draw a line oh just careful not to get in your eye I think I just did, but that's why people don't use liquid liner on your lower lash line. Going with um, my lash primer, which I turned black because I went in after I used um, mascara. Okay, after that, I'm going to go in with my mascara. I'm going in with the Essence one, the I Heart Extreme or I Love Extreme, I don't know, but it's the crazy volume one. Okay, so I don't really like this brush, so I'm going to use the other Essence brush, which is this one. But this is kind of like dry now, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip it right here, okay? And then just use this rubber. Okay, so I know I already did my eyebrows and stuff, but I'm just going in with the brown pencil just to, you know, add some definition, I guess. You see, it's just the rough, 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 rough type of thing. Also, because the wax turns a little bit white, so just to make sure it doesn't show the whitish residue, I'm just going over with the brown pencil. Okay, I'm happy with that. Mm, lip liner, where is it? Okay, I'm using my red lip liner. Guys, I've had this for years. I don't even know how long is lip liner supposed to last? I love it. Okay, and then next I'm going to go in with a lip gloss, which I need to find. Okay, I found it. I got this lip gloss from Clix. I don't even know what it's called, but anyway, I just love the fact that it's glossy. It doesn't feel heavy on the lips. Who's that cutie? It's me. Who's that cutie? It's me. Okay, now I'm gonna put in, put on my earrings. Um. Hmm. I'm just gonna go in with something small. I'll just go in with these, these tiny hoops. I seriously cannot find my necklace. Where is it? This is so tiny and cute. Now for the final look. Um, 
um so the lighting's kind of messed up now it's too bright um uh, but anyways yeah so this is the final look you guys this is the last video from 2022 hopefully 2023 brings more exciting videos i cannot wait to um show you guys the ideas that i have and i really hope you guys enjoyed my content this year and if you did please do come back to my channel and tell a friend to tell a friend to come through to also subscribe so they can join the family you guys we need to grow this channel so that i can start gifting you with stuff don't you want stuff Thank you so much to all the people that have supported me throughout this YouTube journey. I've really enjoyed it. I've had some ups and downs. I'm still conflicted as to whether I want to um, do more vlogs, do just hair content. We'll see what 2023 brings. But yeah, guys, thank you so much. I will see you in my next video. Bye. Mwah. Oh my goodness, you guys, I cannot believe I forgot the most important part of this video and the reason why I wanted to do it. So um, I think I'm actually just going to put up all my videos that were like vlogs or self-care uh, videos and advice videos and all that stuff because I feel like that is important information that needs to be out there uh, regardless of my niche. Um, I'm sure by now you guys know that my niche is hair stuff. So regardless of the different types of content that I might be bringing to this channel you guys will still be um remembering me for the one thing that i really really love doing which is hair so let's just wait and see how 2023 goes but honestly i feel like i am not going to be so strict with niching down my channel anymore um there's a lot of unlearning and learning that goes on when you decide to start a channel and when you want to grow a certain brand for yourself but I honestly do enjoy doing so many things. So I don't want to box myself um, a little bit too much. So yeah, I wanted to show you guys this jug. We started off with an empty jug at the beginning of the year. And I have all these things that I am grateful for and that I have achieved so far in this year. And I think it was so important for me to remember that I did this because, yo, you guys, this year was literally the worst and the best year of my life. Um, and getting older just puts you in the position where you start to reflect so much about your life. Okay, I'm not about to make this a deep, deep, deep video. But anyways, life is deep. <laughs> life is deep. Certain things that happen in your life, you're just like, whoa, that really just happened to me. But anyways, so I have this jug of grateful things and i'm going to take my time to read this but i'm going to do that tomorrow on day one of 2023 and i'm just so grateful to god that i got to see um 365 days to others it might not seem like much but waking up every day is something that you have to just be so grateful for because a lot has happened this year a lot is still happening while we're sitting down and creating content and um, while you guys are watching my video so many things have happened but yeah again thank you so much to everyone that has supported me on my journey it hasn't been easy i think nothing in life is really easy um but a positive mindset is a good one and it's something that i'm going to continue working on and building and strengthening and growing Ah, I'm excited, but yeah, thank you so much you guys. I cannot wait to read these I feel like I should read just one to myself. Maybe this is something I might share or not depending on what it is actually Oh, I love this This one says I took yoga more seriously With the smiley face and I said hashtag peace yoga has been really really peaceful and has strengthened my body in so many ways i now understand what i need to do when i'm doing certain exercises it's just my safe space and i'm so glad that i took it seriously and wow i can't believe that's the one that i grabbed <laughs> that is so exciting i haven't done yoga in i think a week or two yeah and that's because yo, i was just so tired i've been so busy um yeah i think now i'm just venting I should stop okay let's go enjoy our new year's eve and god bless if you are not following me on instagram make sure to do so at mcm underscore muya and come back for more videos okay bye for real this time